Hello Stanford, today I'm going to show you how to make those little carnation. Way back I showed you those uh, flowers, I call it the crunch flowers, that was with the design paper. But if you use plain cardstock, white one, it looked just like a carnation. So first what you're going to need, the regular scallop, you're going to need five of them. So I already pre-cut some, so here's my fifth one. Then you're going to take your markers and you're going to just mark around. It doesn't matter how you um, mark them because they're going to get wet and you want enough uh, ink on it so it's going to bleed through with the water. Here we go. Now you get the little bit of the clue. Now what I'm going to do, it's you're going to take some water, plain water, wet it, crunch it. And then we're going to put it on top here. Here we go. And you see some of the ink going to bleed through, but that's what we want. I'm going to crunch all the five of them. You could put less or put more, De depends how thick you want them. I think five is a perfect number for this. Whoops. Here we go. And then, oops, this one I ripped it a little bit. I'm going to put it right in the middle, it won't show. Now I'm going to take this. I'll start to get dark in here. So I'm going to have, here we go. Now I'm going to poke right in the middle. Then you're going to take a brad, and it doesn't matter for the brad because it won't show by the time. It's no use to put the fancy brad in there because it will not show. That don't seem too much in the middle there. Here we go. Then again with the water, and this here I just put plain water, nothing in it, just plain water. And you're going to crunch. And again water, crunch. You're going to do that with your five layers. And if it don't crunch good, add more water. This is the one that I rip here, I better be careful a little bit. But you know what? Rip gonna be okay. It's just gonna add a little bit of character to uh, the flower. Okay, now this is all done. I'm gonna squeeze it very tight. And you can let it dry so then it would be, I think it would be easier a little bit for uh, opening up, but. I don't want to make you wait, so just open it very gentle so you won't rip because it's wet right now. So I'm going to open it up just a little bit. And you see my marker, how bad it, it was looking, and by the time you put all the water, it's perfect. And I tried to do it with a sponge, and for some reason it would not give me the same look. So I think direct with the marker, it's perfect. Here, I need to pull this here. It's very wet, so if you let it dry a bit, right now I just, it's going to be easier to open it up. So here it is. So this one here, I just put it on the ribbon, and I did those little envelopes that come with the big dies. And it's perfect. This is my daughter's belly here. It's not me. It's perfect for those yards. And you just close it. And then this fit perfect around it. Well, it was fitting perfect. Maybe I had glue it. Here it is. Is that the cute little thing? So I hope you learned something. Until next time, happy stamping!